everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and I'm the CEO of Rebecca Grace Designs. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me lately how to get rid of the underlines in Squarespace 7.1 because after a recent Squarespace update, what they were doing is no longer working and so it looks like they've changed some of the code in the background and so if you had the underlines removed and suddenly they've popped up, um, it's because of a recent Squarespace update. I'm going to show you how to make that change now. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is go to design custom CSS. And if you want to remove underline from all links, this is across your entire site um, within your pages, you're going to use the following code. You can find all of the code for this video posted below. Okay, and so A is how code refers to links. So A, the text decoration, we want to be none. And you can see I no longer have any underlines for any of my links in on my site. However, this is not going to work for the header because for the header, it's not actually a text decoration. It is a background image. So if I click on this readme link, you'll see I still have an underline there. To get rid of the links in the header, you're going to do header A and then background image none important and you'll now have your links removed from your header. Now let's say you don't want it on all pages. You only want the links removed from the footer. So to remove them just from the footer, you're going to use the same code that we did for all links, except in front of the A, you're going to put the word footer. And you'll see that I have the link removed in my footer, but it's still other places on my site. Let's say you just wanted to remove the links from one page. Okay, so you wanted the links to be on all pages except this one. The easiest way to do that in 7.1 is instead of writing the word footer, you're going to use the collection ID. The easiest way to find the collection ID of a page is this Chrome extension that I like to use. I find it the easiest. It's Squarespace Collection Block Identifier. So it's a Chrome extension you can add in. I do find I have to actually go outside of design sometimes in order to actually be able to use this. So I click on it and then I just click on the collection ID and you'll see it popped up copied to clipboard. And then I'm just going to add that before the A. And now the links will be removed from the text. Remember, the header is a different situation, but it will be removed from throughout the text on the site, including the footer, but just on this page. So if I click to another page, you'll see that I still have underlines in links on this page, okay? Just not on the page that I use the collection ID for. What if you only want the links removed from one section in Squarespace 7.1. So let's say I want to remove a link from inside of here. Then what I'm going to do is again get the collection ID of the page. So this is my home page. It's going to have a different collection ID. I'm going to paste that collection ID in there. And then it's hashtag page, page, section, and of type. Again, remember all of this code is posted below this video. And then I need to count my sections because right now this is applying to the first section on this page. Um, so if I want to apply it to this section, I have to figure out which section this is. So I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to count the sections. So I have one, two, three. This is the third section. So I'm going to change this one to a three and you'll see that the underline from the links in this section have now disappeared. Okay. What if I only want it on this particular block, not the whole section? So again, instead of using all of this in front of the A, you're going to put the block ID. And again, I use the Squarespace Collection Block Identifier Chrome extension for this. And you'll see I have the block ID there. So I'm just going to paste it in front of the A. And again, the link has been removed just from this block. If I had other links within this section, those underlines would still apply. The last situation I want to show you is the read more link in the blog. So if we go to your blog, if I apply 
to all links, you'll notice that these still show up. And that's because these are not a text decoration. They're not a background image. It's an after. So what we're going to do is delete all of this and copy and paste the code listed below this video, which shows I want the blog more link after to have a background of none. And you should see your underline be removed from your blog there. So if you like this tutorial, make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching this on my blog, then be sure to sign up for more code snippets in the form below this video um, to be notified when the next tutorial is posted. Until then, that is how you remove the underline from various links throughout your Squarespace 7.1 site.